Hey guys, welcome to Get It Done with Gabby. Today we are doing our last installment of room makeover marathon videos. This one's gonna be a bit of a combo. So, uh, if you're new to my channel and haven't been watching all of these marathon videos, I have given birth to my little baby daughter here and um, you guys are watching some pre-filmed content. I made a bunch of marathon videos so you guys would have something to watch while I'm away tending to my newborn. This week we are going through my toddler's room transformation. We made lots of changes to her room over the past few months. So I put all of that footage together for you. And then I'm also including the office slash gym space. Uh, that's gonna have the newest content for you guys because I realized that I didn't spend a lot of time filming that space. So, uh, at the end of this video, we're going to go down there and finish it off and get that all put together uh, so you guys can actually see what it looks like right now because I never actually showed you guys the, uh, the final product of what we put together. Same for my toddler's room as well. I never showed you guys how it ended up. So I will definitely be filming that for you guys so you can actually see what it currently looks like and uh, get kind of an update on the situation. But if you would like to see my toddler's room makeover and the office gym makeover, stick around because I have lots of content to share with you. This video is going to be about an hour long, I think, for both of those spaces. So uh, lots of things to share. So I hope you guys enjoy. If you like room makeovers and that sort of content, I would love it if you would consider subscribing because uh, we're moving. So we're going to start all of this over again at the new place. Alrighty, guys, let's just jump right into this... Uh, room makeover marathon. It is the next day. We slept in the new room last night for the first time and it has become very apparent that uh, I gotta rearrange Parker's room. Her room is right up next to the master and when she sleeps and she knocks in to that back wall, it thunders into the master bedroom. I don't know how that didn't drive my brother absolutely bonkers. Maybe he was just sleeping through it, but it wasn't even like she was like kicking the back wall or anything. It would just be like if she rolled over and like hit it with her heel or something like random like that. It woke me up and scared me. Like granted, I'm not used to random noises like that, but still it's not working. It's not going to work. I don't want to worry about hearing a thunk every, you know, every time Parker rolls over in the middle of the night. So, I'm going to take this opportunity to rearrange her room a little bit and I think we're going to put the toddler rail on her crib. I think we're going to switch it down. Ideally, we would just be moving her into a big girl bed, um, but we just got to figure out what bed we want to get her and get that all set up. So in the meantime, we're going to put her toddler rail on and see how that goes. I think I'm going to work on... Do I want to rearrange first or do the rail first? I'm probably going to fiddle around with the railing first just because that seems fun. So yeah, let's, uh, let's turn this crib into a toddler bed. Okay, so I, like a genius, kept the crib instructions. So I'm hoping there's just like, skip to the part where the crib is built and you want to change it over. We have this random piece too. I don't know what this is for. But this is the... This is the toddler bed guard, so we'll see. I, I don't know if we need this for something, but it was in the closet, so we will see. Well, it's the wrong color, and it doesn't make any sense to attach to this crib whatsoever. So these are the, this is the toddler bed conversion, so it doesn't match. 
And this random piece that's just been sitting in the closet is the piece that's supposed to go on the bottom. Oh. This doesn't, I don't know what this is. This doesn't fit right here. Like it says conversion rail. I would assume that's what this is, but it doesn't fit. This other random piece fits here. Yeah. Okay, so virtually all that's happened today is that I turned Parker's crib into a day bed. So uh, <laughs> we definitely ordered the wrong toddler rail system. So it doesn't fit at all. Uh, so scrap that. Um, I cannot decide if I should put the crib back together or let Parker try and sleep on this. I really don't know. I'm probably just gonna leave it like this for her nap and see how it goes and just like put pillows on the floor in case she flomps out. But, oh, I'm so disappointed. We should have opened that stupid toddler rail when we got it. Ah, okay, whatever, moving on. All I've done is made a big mess and I haven't really moved anything at all. So I am gonna start rotating the room around.
All right, I have reached my threshold for this room. Parker needs to take a nap now, so it's not perfect, but it is rearranged and it seems pretty functional. So uh, this is going to be our first official test run of Parker in an open bed. We'll see if she stays or not. It's not technically the first, <laughs> I should probably explain. Uh, we just got back from vacationing in Tennessee. We were visiting my sister and uh, Parker ended up staying in her own room in a big girl bed and she only got out of bed once the very like right after we got there and she had to take a nap and then none like the whole rest of the trip she stayed in the bed and like she loved having her own room loved having a big girl bed and uh so i was like crap when we get back she's gonna need a big girl bed um obviously we have not ordered the big girl bed yet so this is as close as we have so i'm just gonna put some pillows here in case she rolls out and uh yeah we'll We'll see how this goes. We got her big girl bed. I'm so excited. I never thought I could be so excited about setting up a bed, but man, I am so stoked. So we got this mattress. It's a freaking beast. <laughs> we had no idea. This was like harder to move than our king bed. And this is just a twin. So. Um, I'm hoping this is a solid mattress. We are going to find out. Uh, but I want to at least unroll it so it can have time to puff up. I need to look up how long you're supposed to let it set for. Um, I'm trying to surprise Parker. She just left to go to the store with Matt. So I'm really hoping that I can have this set up before they get back. But I just don't know how long I have to let this expand for. But the plan is to disassemble the crib and put that in storage until we need to set it up for the next little baby and uh so we're gonna use the teepee tent that's behind me as like the like overhang for the top of her bed so she feel like she's like camping a little bit when she sleeps i don't know i think it's gonna be really cute she's asked multiple times to sleep in her teepee so i really really think she's gonna be so stoked about this so i guess uh nothing left to do but Unroll the beast. Oh no, this isn't a freaking twin. Oh no! Oh no, oh no! What is this? Oh, we got the wrong thing. Um, 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 what do we do? What do I do? It's starting to inflate! Stop inflating! What is it? What size is this? Oh, mother of God. Okay. Um, pause everything. I don't know what to do. Update. Um, so over the past hour, as this has been slowly inflating against my will, I have come to the conclusion that this is not a queen. I believe this is a California king, which if it could just be a king, that would be perfect because then I would just replace my own bed and that would be lovely. We would have a brand new bed, but we just have a king. We don't have a cow king, so it's not gonna fit on our bed frame. So I really don't know what to do here. I measured it and I think it's like 72 inches wide. I didn't, I haven't unfolded it. I can't unfold it in this room, so I have no idea. Oh, Matt's gonna be home soon so hopefully he can help me get this out of this bedroom so we can actually measure it and see what's going on but just to explain the mix up here um we got this from auction um, and so it was advertised you know in its tight little roll and they said they spelled out exactly what it was and gave the measurements and said it was a twin so you know we got it for 
45 bucks, which I thought was a banging hot deal because when you look up what it was advertised as, um, it said it was like a $300 twin mattress. So I was like, Parker's gonna be living her best life on this freaking brand new mattress that's expensive as crap that we got for 45 bucks. If this is in fact the California King version of that bed, this was a $575 bed that I got for 45 bucks. So like, not mad about the deal, just mad about what I'm supposed to do with it. <laughs> oh. I think this just means Matt and I got a new bed and we're just gonna have to get a different bed frame for a Cal King, cause that's what we're doing now. <laughs> I literally don't know what to do with this. Ah! I shouldn't complain. It's not a bad problem to have like a giant bed for really cheap. And it's obviously brand new. It was still like suctioned down. So like, not mad about the deal. Just trying to figure out what to do. So, oh my gosh, the garage is opening. Matt's here. Okay, we're gonna figure this out. All right guys, welcome to another day. Got like a thousand things to do my parents get here tonight and there's like a bunch of stuff i want to get done before they get here but the only thing i can think about is parker's room you guys saw me <laughs> with the uh surprise king bed it was definitely not a twin uh so matt and i got a new bed but uh that doesn't help parker's room any and so we are thinking about just uh putting the like tempur-pedic that matt was trying in there for her uh but all the bedding I got, like the, the waterproof mattress protector and the sheath and stuff were all twin size. And this mattress is a twin XL. Uh, and so I was like, I don't know what to do. Like the sheets are all wrong and I had already washed them. And uh, so I was like, well, I'm just gonna see if I can get those sheets to fit on this mattress. <laughs> now the difference between a twin and a twin XL is five inches. It's 75 inches or 80 inches. So I was like, I know it's kind of a stretch, but some sheets are stretchy, right? So I tested the sheet and the sheet went over it. So I was like, okay, now let's try the mattress protector. It's like one of those bed bug protector things too. So it goes around the entire mattress like a bag and then you zip it up and close it. So I was a little mm, sus on if that was gonna work. I got them both on there and it looks totally fine. Like these sheets fit perfectly on this XL bed. So um, I think this is Parker's new bed for the time being. We're not gonna put the base in her room. We're just gonna put the mattress on the floor. Uh, so we still gotta figure out what to do with this beastie. But I made it work. She has mermaid sheets. <laughs> so though I have like 80,000 other things to focus on, we're going back into Parker's room. We're gonna take apart the crib and we're gonna set up her brand new big girl bed. Ah, I'm so excited. Okay, so I know I just, like just, 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 like weeks ago, put the toddler rail on. But uh, honestly, we just ordered the new toddler rail for our next kid because Parker stayed in her crib for a really long time. Like she wasn't an escape artist child. She like liked her crib. So we had no reason to move her into her toddler bed early um but that might not be true for following babies so we have this whole crib set up we're gonna take it apart get it out of here and uh set up bean's new bed
Okay guys, so here's Parker's room now. <laughs> this is the current situation. Um, yeah, she just has a giant king bed in the corner of her room now. It is not nearly as aesthetic as uh, her cute little twin bed with her teepee, but this is what we're working with. And believe it or not, we can't convince her to sleep in it half the time because this girl has started um, sleeping right by the door. We even put her like pack and play mattress over here to try to get her to sleep on something, but she just keeps sleeping right up by the door. <laughs> like I swear, half the time she is sleeping by the door. But I don't know, toddlers can be toddlers. I can't make her sleep anywhere. She's gonna sleep or she's gonna sleep. But anyway, <laughs> this is what her room looks like. This is how we how we landed on things. Um, obviously when we move, uh, well, <laughs> when we move, we are getting rid of this bed. She will have, I think a queen bed in the new place, but we'll see. But uh, yeah. She will have a king bed for a little bit longer, even though she continually chooses to sleep on the ground. But that's okay. That's okay. Good morning. We are back in our final empty bedroom. I don't know if I told you guys this, but we're turning this into a gym. So... <laughs> I gotta do the whole process. I gotta vacuum, wipe down the baseboards, and uh, extract the carpets. So I'm gonna try, try to get all of that done today. We'll see how my energy holds up. Uh, but yeah, that is the goal for today. So badly, I just wanted to skip the extraction part and just move the gym equipment in here. Like 90% of me wants to just bail on extracting the carpets, but I just, the room is empty. So I might as well just get it done and like know that I've extracted all the bedrooms. I know it's the right thing to do. So the little 10% like super cleaner in me is going to win this battle and we are going to extract the floors. So with that said, let's uh, get to vacuuming the space. so thankful that the last room is the smallest room because I am so sick of wiping down trim. It's not like a hard task. It's just an annoying one. Uh, okay, let's get this done. Oh my gosh, I got halfway through wiping the trim down and I was like, why is the trim so clean in here? I literally did this like a month ago, maybe two months ago. 
everywhere where there wasn't like furniture blocking the area, like where the bed and the dresser is. Those are the only two places I didn't already wipe on the trim. So uh, that was easy. <laughs> Okay, so sorry, my battery died while I was finishing extracting that bedroom, but it is done. The fan is on, the window's open, it is drying now. It is time to move on to this uh, monstrosity of an eyesore that has been in the middle of our living room for like, I don't know, a year. <laughs> Listen, this is the only place it would fit. It is what it is. However, we have an extra room now, so we can make a gym, we can get this out of the living room. I'm very excited, but I need to take down the uh, this little uh, fence that we created with my grid wall. It has worked out nice with all these like little like bookshelf things and ball containers for Parker, just to have little toy access around it. Uh, but uh, we don't need it anymore, so let's uh, take this whole fence system apart. Alrighty, the cage is off and we are ready to move this thing into that room. I'm not sure if we have to take it apart or not. When we moved it in here, this whole top section was not attached. So we may or may not have to take it off again. I'm just not sure it's gonna fit through the door, but we'll worry about that tomorrow because I my own world of make-believe 
kids screaming in the cradles, profanities. I see the world through ice covered in ink and bleach. Cross out the ones who heard my cries and watched me weep. I loved everything. Fire spreading all around my room. My world's so bright, it's hard to breathe, but that's alright. Hush. Welcome to the next installment of me getting my life organized. <laughs> Over here in the corner is like the giant pile of office stuff that I tried to like get off the desk last week and it's just been sitting here and little Miss Queen keeps digging things out of it. So it's time to get all that stuff put away. So Matt and I got this little, uh, what is it? I think it's like a little drawer system thing uh, just to put office stuff in. We didn't really check the dimensions. It's like a kid's dresser, so I think it's going to be small, which is good because it's just for office supplies, but uh, we'll see how it ends up looking. <laughs> anyway, welcome to me building yet another piece of furniture. Just like the street lights lit this town Like a fire in a blaze, gotta burn it down Can't be afraid to leave this out We got this far, don't know how I see danger in your eyes They know we'll go down the night Come in just like the sun
Sexy flicker and the candles glitter like you're in a thriller. Heart goes pump, pump, pump. Gorsley figures they can get so good to show you want to enter. You can turn back to you. You love her. A haunted, haunted house. Oh, could you love me now? A haunted, haunted house. I'm a haunted house. A haunted, haunted house. If you're too scared, get out. A haunted, haunted house. I'm a haunted house. And a warning scribbled on my wall saying that you better turn around. Wouldn't be the first to try to burn me down. Your move, you too. Could you love me at my worst? Till the coffin's in the door. Try to break me like a curse. You know that will never work. I'm a little bit absurd. I like dancing on the verge. Anyone can love a pretty little mansion. What did I do? What did I do? gonna leave it like this until daddy can look at it and figure out what I did wrong because obviously something's not working right I don't have to worry okay well thank you okay Thank you. I won't be. I'm just going to leave it and worry about it some other time. I don't, I don't work on this drawer. Yeah, that bottom drawer is wrong. I did something wrong with the bottom drawer. I'm not sure what. This frog is this side. You can put this in. Yeah? You can put this in, like there. Alright, well, we'll come back to it. Okay, I forget the last place that I updated you, but Matt shaved down the screws and now the drawers went in. So our unit is complete for our office organization. Uh, we're not sure if the office is going to stay downstairs at the moment. We're kind of in flux with that. So I'm just going to organize this as if it were going to stay up here and then if we need to move it down we will. But for now, I think I'm just going to put this in this little corner and try and make it as efficient as possible. So first things first, I need to move all of this out of the corner and then slide this into its location. Okay, so my initial thought is to put like pens, pencils, all the tiny little things in the top drawer. They're all the exact same depth, so they're a little bit deep for stuff like that. Well, it's not too bad. But anyway, I'm thinking like pens, pencils, things we grab for all the time will go in the top drawer. And then I'll see what's left and kind of go from there for the next two.
Okay, so uh, there's like a general organization going on. It's not very pretty, but it's a start. So on the top, like I said, we have pens, pencils. Um, it's not even like focusing on the drawers, huh? Pens, pencils, little bits and bobs, some tools, uh, just little office knickknacks. And then on the bottom, we have like notebooks, filing stuff, extra printer paper, uh, the bigger things. And then the middle is kind of just like junk drawer city. It's all the other random stuff. Uh, so this could use <laughs> some more work, but for now it is good. Everything is in here. And, uh, oh, I also put the printer off to the side so that we can set the computer here when we need to print things. I got it all dusty. I need to wipe it off. But anyway, it's a start. At least all the office stuff is in the unit. Okay, here's all the workout stuff I want to move. I want to move it into the workout room. It's not really like a huge problem here, except for the fact that you are currently like standing in the downstairs bathroom. And this is one of Parker's main like potty zones. And pretty much every time she walks out of the bathroom, she's presented with this wall of things. And she likes to take these and pull on them. And as you might suspect, it's a bit of a hazard. So I'm gonna move <laughs> all of this into the workout room, which sucks because these are all individual pegs that I hung, and then we have one big bar up here. So, <sighs> it's okay. It's for a good cause. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna unload all of this into the, the workout room, and then we'll take everything down. working with. I'll probably spread things out a little more than out there because that wall was so skinny, but what's the longest thing we have to hang? I'll probably do all of those things here and then everything else over here. So this needs drywall anchors, so we'll mess with that first. Okay, uh, brief pause in our progress. Uh, Beeb is awake, so I will probably check in later tonight or tomorrow. And, oh God, I really need to finish this today. We'll see, huh? We'll see. Baby Queen is sick, so I really don't think working with her awake is gonna be something, something to do. So anyway, all right, check in later.
done. I popped on a movie for Miss Suge while she ate so I could finish this little task up. Um, I moved a couple things. This bar or these little hangers I didn't put low. I put a little bit higher just so when she does inevitably discover this, she can't reach some of these things because she had pulled on the green band like the extra light one and snapped it because she's pulling on it. So hopefully this helps that problem a little bit, but one more task down. All right, we are officially in the office gym area. Can you guys hear the freaking landscapers? Why? I swear, every time I turn this camera on, they're like right up by the house. Uh, we live in a community where like nobody really takes care of their own yards, like the HOA pays for landscapers to come by, so I have no control over when they show up. Anyway, hopefully it's not too distracting, but today we are finishing up the gym office area. It is exploded right now. Um, I will say I'm not gonna finish it like fully how I wanted to finish it. Matt and I had some Star Trek posters that we had in our bedroom, our old bedroom, that I was gonna hang like above the office side of things. But uh, as you know, we're moving. I'm not puncturing any more holes into these walls. We are only closing up holes, so <laughs> there won't be any art in this room, but this room needs like a freaking just cleanup situation because it has exploded. So we're going to work on tidying things up and then I will give you guys like, I guess the final reveal because you really haven't seen this space in many, many months. So uh, let's get to tidying. Alrighty guys, here is the final gym office view. So we got the treadmill over here. We put the stability ball um, way up there because 
Parker kept messing with it, so now it's just kind of like hanging out up there. So this is kind of my desk. <laughs> it's a little janky. We cut this board and then put this computer box on top. But uh, I like to walk on the treadmill while I work. So uh, this is my little zone. Um, you guys already saw back over here when I did this, but we still have all of our hanging equipment here. And then if you go over into this corner, we've got our seated elliptical. And then this is Matt's office. Um, I don't know what you want to call this. There's freaking one, two, three, four, five monitors going on over here. Um, yeah, this is Matt's office workspace. Obviously in a perfect world, he would have an entire room to his office and the gym would be its own space, but this is what we're working with. And uh, honestly, not too bad. It works out pretty dang good for us. So yeah, uh, this is this is the final space. And like I said, I would have hung art up here for him, but there's really no point because we're leaving, so. That is it for the gym office tour. Alrighty guys, that is all I have for you this week. I hope you enjoyed this toddler room transformation, office gym transformation. I know they're not perfect. They're not super aesthetic. I know like the previous iteration of Parker's room was way cooler than it is now, but this is real life and this is, it is what it is and this is, <laughs> This is what it's gonna be. So I really appreciate all you guys sticking around to the very end. Thank you so much if you made it this far. And uh, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.